Today I will take you on a tour of some of the most fun and useful things that I've added to the reptile room. One of my recent goals is all about efficiency to make things more efficient, uh, easier to do, quicker to do, and actually make some monetary investments so that I am not constantly cleaning 24-7, 365 in the reptile room. So I can actually make more videos and stuff. They're just random things that I have found on Amazon and at stores. So I'm gonna link everything on Amazon. You can buy them all in a kit below. Uh, I get a commission each time you buy something. So it's a uh, cool products for you and free money for me. <laughs> Starting off is the thing that sparked this idea of the video and something I got just a few days ago. And that is a Roomba. This Roomba, uh, named Neptor after one of the greatest Adventure Time characters, who is kind of like the underappreciated slave that just kind of does stuff for people. Jake, you found Neptor. 15 months, four days, nine hours, and you guys did not find me. That that matches what a vacuum is, right? By the way, this Roomba is a slightly more pricey investment at around three to five hundred dollars, depending on which model you get. But I have to vacuum daily in the reptile room, so this makes a big difference. Cause he does it. It does it. Is it creepy to call it a he? He does it <laughs> daily. You can set a schedule uh, up to your phone. You can connect it to an Alexa or a Google Home and you can just tap clean and it cleans the entire house. If I want, I can block it off to just do the reptile room. But right now I have to do the entire second floor. So all the bedrooms, the bathrooms and the reptile room. And it does it all on a single charge in about an hour. Again, I've only used it for a few days, but it's done a, it's, a nice job, it's clean in here. It looks like a human vacuumed. It's both a super fun and super efficient and effective investment for the reptile room and just the house itself. Next up is a 10 gallon water dispenser. For the longest time, I just used one gallon jugs. I'd lug them back and forth from the bathtub into the room. But now that there's 30 animals in the room, that's not the most efficient way to do it. So I got a 10 gallon water dispenser. Uh, I got the Home Depot one. You can get them from Gatorade or whatever. You're gonna see um, mine is white <laughs> and terribly painted because I didn't like the orange color and I learned that I'm not good at painting things. It also kind of scrapes off. So I don't necessarily suggest that you paint it by hand. I used acrylic paint. I'm sure there's better ways to do it. Probably even just spray paint would work better. But uh, basically what I can do is like once a week uh, or twice a week if there's like well, lots of water I have to fill, I just bring it to the bathtub, fill it up, slide it across the floor, and treat the entire thing with RectiSafe all in one go. Even if I got thirsty, I, I don't think RectiSafe it's not like human approved, I guess, so I can't like suggest that you drink it. But hey, if you're in a drought and you are really suffering, it could be a last resort for you to grab some yourself. Either way, 10 gallon water jug, it's like 40 bucks or something. A uh, great way to efficiently fill lots of water things without having to constantly go back and forth from the sink. Next up is one I also got like a week ago, and that is urine gone. I hate this packaging so much. It is so ugly. <laughs> Looks like it was made in like 2000 and they haven't updated it. It even says as seen on TV. Is there anything more painful to look at? Just ignore the packaging, let's turn it around. But it, it's made to remove uh, urine, blood, poop, and vomit. <laughs> A uh, little bit ago, I made a post on the YouTube community tab saying that a ball python pooped and peed all over my passenger seat of the car and it smelled disgusting. Um, so I got urine gone and it worked. It smells kind of like chemically, gr like chemical grass, like, you know, fresh cut grass, but like chemicals. Um, so yeah, I used it in there and it worked. And then I have stains just all over the floor in the reptile room because animals walk around in here. I just let them hang out for a couple of hours. Uh, new ball pythons or old bipod, blah, 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 or just any snakes will poop and pee on the floor because there's a lot of animals in here. Surprisingly, this actually works. I don't know how much it actually disinfects. Um, so I try and still clean the spot as best as I can, but this does get the stain and smell out, which is nice. It's like 10 bucks. 
urine gone, not sponsored. I'm not sponsored by any of these products, by the way. Next up is poop bags. This is probably the cheapest investment. You can get a ton of them on Amazon for like just a few dollars. Uh, I made a full IGTV video on this, so if you go follow at go underscore herping, you can see that. Uh, like two minute video all about poop bags. But long story short, it's a great way to pick up poop without having to stink up a huge trash can. Some people said that this is more wasteful because I'm using plastic and it's like lots of little bags. But I found that I end up throwing out a lot less plastic because these are airtight, meaning that when I go around, pick all the poop up, put them in this bag, and then put them in the trash can, the trash can does not start smelling because again, it's airtight. So this means that like before I had to replace my trash can every single day, or not the trash can, but the bag in the trash can. And this was pretty wasteful because I'd only fill it up like a third or a quarter of the way. I could just get smaller trash bags, but still, this seems much more efficient and much more effective. So anything that I know is gonna smell, uh, whether it's dead rodents that a snake didn't eat, poop, um, anything that has a smell, I don't know, my lunch, who cares? It can go in the trash bag without completely smelling up the entire thing. So uh, it's cheap, they're, they're poop bags, they work. It's in their name. <laughs> the next two are quite boring and then I'll get to some slightly more interesting ones. Uh, that is some basically sanitary items. We've got rubber gloves or vinyl gloves and rubbing alcohol. First off, these are self-explanatory. Um, it keeps your hands clean while you're doing stuff. Uh, whether it's feeding, cleaning up, whatever, your hands don't get dirty. And then with this, um, don't like put it directly near the reptiles while they're in it, because alcohol is strong. But um, it's a great way to actually disinfect stuff, wipe down surfaces. Uh, if poop does get on something outside of an enclosure, it's a great way to actually disinfect it. I also just use stuff like Clorox wipes or whatever else. Um, but I like having this around because I use it quite a bit. Next up is a mini fridge. Uh, I got this one off of Craigslist when they're new. They're probably like a hundred or more dollars, but on Craigslist sometimes you can find them for like less than a hundred dollars. I think I paid 50 for this. Uh, I went to pick it up. It, I don't know why they had to tell me this, but it belonged to their grandmother or mom that, that was living with them and she died. <laughs> So grandma's fridge is now filled with insects and rats, which I'm sure she is appreciating from the spirit world. <laughs> uh, lots of people don't want mice and rats in their normal fridge or freezer. Personally, I don't really care. Like, they're not the most sanitary thing on earth, but I don't have any concerns about them really. But this is a nice way to keep them right by the reptiles and away from everything else. Uh, this one has a small freezer up top, and then I have the fridge area for some of my own drinks and also for any insects that should stay refrigerated like uh, mealworms and neutral grubs and stuff like that. So yeah, it's just a nice way. Again, $50, I've had it for years. It is definitely worth that investment. Next up is probably my second favorite after the vacuum and that is a very mini fridge. We got the mini fridge, why not a very mini fridge? This is not at all related to reptiles. I just wanna show you my mini, my very, 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 very mini fridge. Here it is. <laughs> I got it at Target on sale for like 40 bucks. It's not on sale anymore, so you can get it on Amazon for the same price that Target sells it for now, uh, which I think is 40 or 50 bucks. Ironically, the same as a larger size fridge off of Craigslist. But it's, look at it, it's a mini. It holds up to six cans or like four bottles, um, and I have it filled. Well, the problem is it's always empty because I keep drinking everything out of it. Either way, it's, I mean, hey, why not be lazier and have this little fridge right on your desk, on your shelf, in your bedroom. I, I really sound like I'm sponsored by them. I would love so much to be sponsored by this tiny fridge. It's not quite as cold as a true, like, normal fridge, but it's definitely cold enough to enjoy the drinks, and it also gets warm. There's also a car adapter, so eventually, um, we'll probably bring it, I don't know, like to Repticon or something so we can enjoy some drinks while we're selling animals. Uh, we could also just pop it in the car if I, like, I don't know, go on a road trip, plug it into the car. You got, it's like a cooler, but without the ice, and it just needs electricity. So Tiny Fridge is a lovely investment that I do not regret. It wasn't impulse buy. I, I impulse buy stuff at Target and Amazon more than I impulse buy animals, luckily. So hey, looking on the bright side. And I am probably forgetting stuff. That's all the stuff I wanted to share. I have a pretty old video on just like useful things that reptile keepers can buy, so you can also watch that which I overlapped a couple things in this video, but um, it's kind of an update. But in that, you can also see some stuff like whatever else. Like It's so old, I forgot what I talked about, but you can go see that. 
Uh, these are just some fun investments I've made in the reptile room that I suggest if you have the budget for, consider yourself to save time and money, especially if you have more than like one or two animals. But even if you just have a herp here and there, it's still useful. Some of these are just useful for a normal household, like mini fridges and auto vacuums that just tootle around and vacuum the house. So, yeah. Also, the more stuff I buy, the more I realize anything marked with reptile is just automatically more expensive because it says reptile on it. So, I'm sure you can get like reptile gloves, I think, or reptile poop bags, but they're just like 10 times more expensive because they say reptile on it. And they're the exact same. They just have different branding. What are some other things I can add to my Amazon kit? And they also just have a bunch of random toys and stuff that I like because I love plushies and figures. So, there and there. Uh, leave them below. Don't link them below because your comment will automatically go to spam. You can just like say what it is and maybe I'll link it in there if I try it out and think it's cool. So there we go. There's some fun random things that I enjoy that I got from Amazon and Target that I really didn't need but it makes it more efficient and a bit more fun in the reptile room. So there we go. I'm Alex and thanks for watching.